she even heard her in there. Like, or even Ash. I know Helen won't bother with me when we leave here. I know she won't. Why? Um, so we're, we're not, we don't have that strong of a bond. Like, and that's fine. I know she's not, like, as close to me as other people. Like, but, um, like, when she, like, I, I have noticed it's because of my age. Like, what well, out there she says, even Ashley, she's 18, but still. But what's that? Uh, do you know what I mean? That, that yeah. I can see how you could take it as being mean? quite condescending. Yeah. I don't think she means it, but I think if it bothers you that much, you should say something. Mm. I think my think my reason is this: I'm, I can't. I'm not going to have a conversation with you when when a woman does that to me. I think maybe I have a complex anyway because for me, I just tend to think. I, like the whole girl code thing means something. Oh yeah, me too. So as soon as a woman goes against that, yeah. I'm really sorry. I can't be you bothered. You do lose a lot of respect for And people. I can't be bothered. And I guess the difference between me and is that she's more likely to say something. Whereas me, I don't give a shit because yeah, you didn't you give a shit. Yeah, for me, you didn't give a shit when you did what you did. So why should I give a shit? I'm not mm -hmm. giving a shit. But if you want to come to me and ask me, Toy, did you say this? I'll be like, yeah, I did. And what's your point? Yeah. <laughs> What your mom say, Bo? I just kept my distance from her because I just don't, I don't respect it. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's certain things I'm seeing. From when you can talk behind my back and I'm standing in your face and then an hour later you want to say, Toy, are you okay? F*** you. You're mm -hmm. a fake ass I ain't got time for fake ass Now I told Big Brother, Hurricane Toya is fast approaching. <laughs> there's a gust of wind. I'm telling people to hold on to your seats because when this blows, she blows. <laughs> That girl needs to just not try me because if she does, she ain't gonna like what comes out of my mouth. Because I feel it. like I'm distancing myself from Danielle, which I don't want to do because Danielle spends so much time with her and I'm going, no, you can't, I can't do that. Like, I can't. D will see it. I can't, I can't be fake, like. Leave me, my spirit ain't feeling that girl. From when yesterday, uh, me and Thing had an argument. Arguments happen, do you understand? But one thing my girl doesn't realise is that we're actually okay. There's nothing that couldn't be resolved. There's nothing I wasn't willing to resolve. I just wasn't going to resolve it at that point. Do yeah. you understand? No. As soon as you said sorry to me, you know, when, when someone apologises and actually says, this is where I went wrong, you can't keep crucifying them. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, even if you're right, you're in the wrong. And that's the point I was trying to make to Christopher. Listen, you was in the wrong, whether you like it or not, and I made you feel wrong, I made you look stupid. If you don't apologise, that's cool, but what you're not going to do is tell me what, when I can and cannot say your name. I say it when I like. The difference between... Christopher and him, Christopher doesn't take responsibility for anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, I'm, and if you're going to be like, I don't care.